Howdy folks, AJ coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer, and it's Beer 30. So today, uh, we are having a shock top Belgian Belgian white ale, and uh, this is the type of beer that uh, that you want to drink if you're thirsty and you're looking for something refreshing. Uh, I suggest this be uh, doesn't have to be ice cold, but uh, chilled. Uh, I prefer this chilled as opposed to room temperature, which I like some of my beers. Um, it is uh, it's kind of like a German Hefeweizen but uh, it is a, a little bit more filtered. It's not completely filtered, I don't think. There's a little bit in there that's not filtered. And it, uh, it has the same type of flavors, uh, uh, complexity that, say, a Hefeweizen does. Um, just overall refreshing and, and delicious. And this isn't, by any means, a craft beer. This is, this is an Anheuser-Busch um, uh, macro macro brew that they try to pass off as a micro brew but I think it tastes pretty good so anyway that's it on today's beer let's talk about the topic of the day the gaming topic of the day and that would be uh, the the issue of day one DLC and or in some cases or uh, games that are not offering very much gameplay for the full full price pay, uh, price tag that they're asking for. So, uh, and a couple of the latest uh, examples of this would be you have Evolve, uh, which was a highly you know anticipated game, uh, squad based game where you have it's it's a, you know it's a co op where you have uh, a certain number of players. Uh, fighting against a monster um, that is also played by another player, and uh, there's uh, they're called hunters. The the ones obviously they're hunting the monster, and the problem here is, and I'm and this is not something that has uh, that I'm groundbreaking on or anything else, but I want to give my two cents. They launched the game for sixty dollars, and right out of the gate. Right out of the gate, same time they, they launched the game, they have $85 worth of DLC that they put out. Which leads somebody to, you know, those of us that have been around for forever, to say, uh, well, why did, you know, what the hell is that? Uh, when you buy a game, when it comes out, when it's published, it should be the complete game. And then down the road, if they create an expansion pack, or DLC as they call it now, um, additional content that they begin to work on at, at once the game is launched, that's fair game, that's fine. But when you launch it, and then the same day, one of the DLCs is $24.99 for four additional hunters and a couple of skins for monster skins. And basically, when, when I hear four additional hunters, that sounds like four additional classes to me. Uh, I haven't played the game, but that sounds like you're 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 paying to unlock classes uh, another twenty five dollars on top of a sixty dollar game. Have you lost your freaking minds? Again, it goes back to what what myself and a lot of other YouTubers uh, of us old vintage gamers and even newer gamers it, 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 that we've all been saying the same thing: quit pre ordering games. This is the kind of shit that you can expect when when people are going out and pre-ordering like idiots okay you pre-order this game and then you find out that it comes out and then if you want to get the complete game you gotta pay another 25 bucks and and then there's all these other ones you know skins and things like that it comes out to 85 dollars worth of, of DLC holy crap that's one example the next example is 1886 the order um, 
and that's you know that's a PlayStation 4 exclusive and from all accounts it can be finished in about five hours for a sixty dollar game and that just doesn't seem like uh, you're getting your money's worth for me uh, I you know <laughs> I just played uh, a game that took me five hours and I got it on a steam sale for ten dollars the vanishing of um, Ethan Carter and I did a review uh, if it's the, the, the video I did just before this one um, if you want to check it out and even at the full price of twenty dollars uh, five hours of gameplay um, you know that's that's four dollars an hour for my for my entertainment that's fine I'm okay with that but I'll be damned if I'm gonna pay sixty dollars for a five you know five hour game that's insane so again those that pre-ordered it are probably gonna feel like they got screwed they paid sixty dollars up front get their game they finish in five hours and they're, what <laughs> so anyway um, just more evidence that as long as and it's supply and demand as long as everybody is uh, continuing to feed the monster with pre-order money they're gonna keep doing this stuff and if you're fine with that if, if, the, if the majority of the the gaming consumers out there are okay with that I guess that's the way it's gonna be but if if you're unhappy about it then then don't be a hypocrite and go and pre-order start pre-order keep keep on pre-ordering games because you're just you're just feeding the machine that's it's that's causing all of these types of things unfinished games games that do not promise or do not deliver on what they promised uh, day one DLC and games that are very short on content for a full full price price tag that's all what you get when 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 the majority of people are, are willing to pre-order and they're getting their money up front there's no motivation for them to do the right thing if they stop getting the pre-order money and they realize they gotta go back to the drawing board and do it right so they can so that when the game comes out it gets fantastic reviews because it's a it's a good game that's what it comes down to it's a good game then the word gets around on YouTube and Twitter and everywhere else and people go out and they start buying the shit out of it. That's the way it was done in the old days. So, anyway, that's this old gamer's two cents on the matter. Um, enjoy your evening. Cheers. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side.